Hey everyone, Matt here with the fish tank. And as you can see, I cleared out a lot of my frog bit. You can see on my last videos, this is my aquaponic setup. Um, most of you probably know already though. Um, so anyway, I took out most of my frog bit and I want to grow it still, but I want to grow it over the winter. Um, I'm taking it out of my system because it's eating my iron. Uh, and I need my iron for the vegetables and stuff that I grow. So peppers and cucumbers and all that. So, um, I put water in here and it's yellow. You see all that yellowing? All that yellowing is actually um, chelated iron. And so I do need to dose this uh, to get the iron that I want to grow. But I can grow little plants and stuff, aquatic plants and this and stuff. But um, <clears throat> it's also getting cloudy. So the water, I don't know if you can see it, but it's getting kind of cloudy. And that is the bacteria dying off. Um, so I need to create some sort of uh, way for the bacteria to grow and um, at the same time filter the water because I do have guppies in here. They're, they're not going to produce lots of waste, but they will produce some. So I need to build some sort of little filtration system for this and um, I'll show you what I'm going to do. All right, so before I fill this up all the way, as you can see, I have uh, some of this grow media in here from my aquaponic garden here and uh, there's no soil in that but it's this um, clay is totally inoculated with uh, beneficial bacteria that break down nit uh, ammonia into nitrites and then from nitrites to nitrates so they're already converting the water really well um, so that plants can take up nutrients okay so that brings me over to this that water I took from the aquaponic system okay so all that water is um, uh, basically has bacteria in it, but I'm getting a die off. If I don't do something soon, I'm, all my fish will die in there. Um, eventually the, the bacteria will get started, but um, anyways, so uh, I want the conversion rate to be going because if uh, nitrites are not converted into nitrates, these plants will not have food. Nitrates are their food. Of course, the dogs are singing in the background. So, okay. So this is basically a homemade filter I'm building here, a submergible filter. Um, so anyway, you can see the stuff in there, and then I drilled holes all over it, okay? And now basically what I'm gonna do is, um, I had to make this too, this is a little pump that I had. I had to grind that in down to fit it in there. I had to cut a hole in this cap that goes to this, this is a cat litter container, okay? So I had to cut um, grind it down to where it'll fit in there, cut a hole in the cap, push it through, and then I want to catch any of these rocks or anything that are inside of here. I want to catch them, make sure they're not going up and stopping the pump. So that gets pushed all the way to the bottom to where there's only like that much of a clearance at the bottom. Okay, and what that's going to do is that's not going to let any of the gravel and stuff into this. Okay, and anything that does get through, this will catch it. So let's go ahead and let's push it in there, fill this thing up the rest of the way. And basically what I'm, what I'm gonna do is the water is gonna be sucked up from the bottom because remember that's the lowest point. So the water is gonna get sucked up from the bottom, right? Which means the water needs to come in through the top, go all the way to the bottom and then come through that pipe. So it's gonna basically act kind of like a trickle filter, um, which is the idea behind it. A uh, little bit of a trickle filter, go down, and then go up that pipe so it'll be going through all this this grow media and the bacteria should start uh, going real good all this rock in here has uh, bacteria already on it ready to go so i'm just gonna fill it up and start her up all right so well the pump's above water but it is pumping water so it's it'll be fine like this the only thing is is that i really wanted it a lot lower so what i'll end up doing is probably getting a different uh, container that is shorter um, that way I can shorten everything up and have it submerged um, but it'll work like this I mean it'll be like an above ground thing so I wanted you guys to get a look at the water to see how murky it is okay so I want to see how this is gonna do over the next uh, well whenever I do an update so um, so but yeah 
that is, it, it'll definitely filter the water. It'll definitely start filtering it and uh, the bacteria will have something to grow on because of the grow media. And then I added some lava rock in there as well. Um, so we'll have a look at it in a few weeks. You can see a little guppies. I don't know if you guys can see them. So, but yeah, everything is living and thriving in there. So anyway, I'll update you guys as soon as I can, all right? God bless you guys and like always, peace. DIY submergible filter, that's funny.